bombed out neighborhoods, suffering children, millions of civilians driven from their homes. But Vladimir Putin's aggression has still failed to dent the courage of Ukrainian resistance in the face of an illegal invasion. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences. But despite the anger we might feel about the war in Ukraine, Washington has limited options in how far it can go to support Ukrainians without also stumbling into the abyss of war. The way we need to avoid World War III is uh, preventing the United States from having direct military involvement on the ground. But there is a war in which Americans can make a difference. It's another horrific conflict which is raging into its eighth year, with more appalling images of bombed out hospitals and schools, dying children, and millions of displaced civilians. But this war is one the U.S. is not seeking to stop. In fact, Washington is sustaining it, no matter President Biden's rhetoric. And the sale of material to the Saudis, where they're going in and murdering children, and they're murdering innocent people. In reality, we've done more to enable Saudi Arabia's aggression in Yemen than we have trying to end it, which is why in the region, it's called the Saudi-American War. But Americans should know that the U.S. can act now to end our role in this suffering because Saudi Arabia can't bomb Yemeni civilians without our support. Their air force can't fly without U.S. military contractors. So in this case, we actually have the power to ground the planes and shut off the spigot of weapons that kill and maim civilians and perpetuate this war. Why aren't Americans as loud in our denunciation of Saudi Arabia's bombing in Yemen as we are about Russia's aggression against Ukraine. If we're morally obligated in helping the Ukrainian population defend and protect itself, aren't we also obligated not to facilitate and underwrite Saudi aggression in Yemen? In Ukraine, the fighting could go on longer than many would have anticipated. And the push for peace involves a complex clash of interests where our influence has limits. But the path to stopping the killing in Yemen is clear, and it's within our immediate power. Our justified demand to end Russia's aggression in Ukraine rings hollow when we ourselves help enable Saudi's aggression in Yemen. We can and should do better.